When people think about extreme sports video games, most minds are drawn to the skateboarding series Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. However, there's also been a wide range of excellent snowboarding games released over the years that let players descend the slopes in style. Whether it's visual and mechanical realism, or over-the-top arcade action that players want, the best snowboarding games of all time have it all, and let players descend freezing cold slopes at lightning speeds, along with pulling off crazy tricks from the comfort of their own homes. Hey there everyone, welcome to Game Rant, Jeffrey here. In today's video, I'll be highlighting 10 of the best snowboarding video games of all time. Let's dive in. Number 10, SSX On Tour. SSX On Tour is the first of many games from EA's SSX franchise. SSX On Tour's core gameplay is similar to SSX 3, though changes were made to other aspects of the franchise, such as the addition of customizable characters. While the gameplay is not far removed from the rest of the series, SSX on Tour's main selling point at the time of its release was its visual style, which set itself apart from its predecessors. Although it could be an acquired taste, the game's graphics still look pretty good today. Number 9. Sean White Snowboarding Road Trip Sean White Snowboarding was released in 2008 on a plethora of consoles, including PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Like many games in the late 2000s, a Nintendo Wii edition was also released but was completely reworked to accommodate the console's popular motion controls. The Wii version is titled Sean White Snowboarding Road Trip and does an excellent job of implementing the Wii's balance board, which offers an immersive way to play the game. It is a fairly short experience that doesn't have too much replay value, however, Road Trip's unique accessory sets it apart from the crowd in a really positive way. Number 8. Steep Steep is the most recent release on this list, having hit stores in December 2016. New sports IPs have been rare in the last decade, as licensed franchises like FIFA and NBA 2K have a stranglehold on the sports genre. Consequently, the announcement of Steep was welcomed by the many sports fans who are desperate for new sports franchises. Steep differentiates itself from the other games with its wide range of extreme sports, as along with snowboarding of course. There is also skiing, wingsuit flying, and paragliding to keep players busy. Fans of Ubisoft's game should also check out Riders Republic, which basically is a spiritual successor of sorts to Steep. Number 7. Amped 2 Amped 2 was developed by IndieBuilt and released exclusively on the OG Xbox in October 2003. This is actually also my personal favorite snowboarding game on this entire list. Well, this one and the number one spot, but more on that later. Amp 2's career mode has a similar level structure to the aforementioned Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series, with players having various objectives to complete in each of the levels. Along with high scores to aim for, players are also tasked with doing tricks for photographers and finding hidden snowman throughout the stages. The Amp series utilizes a unique control scheme that can take some getting used to, but it works well for games that prioritize tricks and flips. Number 6. SSX 2012 in February 2012, EA Sports delighted snowboarding fans by releasing a reboot of its classic series. Unlike previous games in the series, SSX 2012 implemented courses from real locations, such as Antarctica and the Himalayas, which gave the title a different feel from its predecessors. The rebooted game also reworked the control scheme from previous SSX titles, but retained the popular Tricky mode from SSX Tricky. Again, more on that game later. With good visuals, fun gameplay, and replayability thanks to Explore Mode, SSX S2012 holds up as one of the better entries in EA's franchise. Number 5. SSX 2000 SSX from the year 2000 was the first entry in the iconic SSX series, and was released exclusively on the PlayStation 2. The game was published by EA Sports Big, which we all remember that, that was a fun time, a label used by EA throughout the 2000s which specialized in extreme sports games like FIFA Street and NBA Street. SSX 2000 was a huge hit with critics upon release, exemplified by its whopping 93 Metascore. However, the game hasn't aged particularly well, and later SSX games improved upon this original formula. Number 4. 1080 Snowboarding 1080 Snowboarding is the oldest game to make the cut, having been released in 1998. 3D video games were still a relatively new concept in the late 90s, but that didn't stop Nintendo from developing a game that is still to this day considered to be one of the best snowboarding titles of all time. 1080 snowboarding may not look like much by modern standards, 
but its gameplay is just as enjoyable as it was back in 1998. Also, the game just has a killer soundtrack. Number 3, Alto's Adventure. Alto's Adventure sticks out like a sore thumb on this list for several reasons, but in a good way. Not only was the game originally released exclusively on iOS, but it's also an endless runner played from a side-scrolling perspective. While the latter might not sound as impressive as a full 3D snowboarding experience, Alto's Adventure is arguably among the most visually gorgeous snowboarding games on the market. The backdrops are constantly jaw-dropping. The 2015 title was a surprise hit with critics, exemplified by its 92 Metascore. Following the game's critical acclaim, it was released on numerous other systems, including Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch. Number 2. SSX 3 SSX3 was released in October 2003 on GameCube, Xbox, PlayStation 2, and Game Boy Advance. Among the new additions to the series was the game's open world, which was ahead of its time back in 2003. The game also added a free ride mode that lets players just explore the open mountain worlds, offering a nice change of pace to the series' usual over-the-top action. While not knocking everything out of the park, SSX3 represented a leap forward for the series as a whole, and it is one of those games that holds a lot of nostalgia. Compared to the original SSX, the third entry is still very enjoyable to play in this day and age. Alright, and here we are, number one, which you probably guessed it already, it's SSX Tricky. SSX Tricky was released in 2001 on the same consoles as SSX3. While the name may suggest that the game is a spin-off to the SSX series, it was actually just the second entry in the franchise. The game's name is, of course, a reference to the Run DMC track, It's Tricky, which is heavily featured, as well as the game's tricks mechanic. Although SSX Tricky lacks the open world of SSX 3, it remains the series' best game to revisit today, thanks to its wonderfully well-balanced gameplay and fun characters. Now, since I adore snowboarding games so much, and since they are often overlooked, I want to give two bonus shoutouts here, specifically for the indie snowboarding gem, Shredders, which places a big emphasis on a more grounded approach to the extreme sport, along with a quirky story. Also a real hidden nugget of snowboarding goodness, Transworld Snowboarding, based on the snowboarding magazine of the same name. This one from the OG Xbox era was all about arcade snowboarding shenanigans set across a host of over-the-top locales. Plus, I mean, the music was just on point in this game, so that's great. And there we have it, everyone. 10, plus, well, I guess two extra, of the very best snowboarding games of all time that you should definitely play. Thank you very much for checking out this video from Game Rant. Have a truly wonderful and happy day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.